the alarm clock. One morning, Zubazu was sleeping sweetly in her bed. She had a dream she was a princess riding a unicorn. When suddenly, Sleep, buddy. Zabazoo, come on, sweetie. It's time to get up. The alarm clock has brought us a bright new day. Mom, let me sleep. I gotta finish my dream. Hey, kiddo, I'd like to sleep more too, but that old alarm clock rang. Come on, up you go. Wash up, get dressed, eat, and you love kindergarten. And we have to work, you know. Yeah, yeah. That old alarm clock rang again. Bummer. I was really into that dream. Bingo, Flamingo! I got an idea! And so, late in the evening, when Mom and Dad were sound asleep, Zabazoo decided to turn off this bad alarm clock. I'm going to tweak that alarm clock. Buddy, the alarm clock! The alarm clock! Now we'll finally get some sleep. <gasps> we overslept! Hello, I'm listening. What's that? What? I heard you, I heard you. Huh? You sure? I'll be right there. Hit the start key. Cool. Ah. Get in the car, let's go, we're late. Mom, Dad, um, am I going to kindergarten in my pajamas? Ah, uh, Zabazu. In the evening, the family gathered for dinner to talk about their day. Today we got ready for the morning show in my kindergarten. The boys were the cowboys and the girls were the bells. But I was late, so I had to be a cactus. Oh, my. And I was supposed to draw a seal, but I didn't have time. Oopsie. And I was late for my rocket flight. They flew without me. Now I have to fly this coming weekend on another rocket to catch up with it. So we won't be going to the Fantastic Park of Fairy Tale Wonders, honey. We're not going? I love the Fantastic Fairy Tale Wonders Park. But you promised. Zabazu, dear, it happens. If only that alarm clock rang on time. Mm, that wasn't the alarm clock's fault. I wanted to sleep more. I didn't think this would happen. I have to tell the truth. I turned off the alarm. Ugh, Zabazu. Mommy, Daddy, I'm really very sorry. I will never, ever turn off the alarm clock again. Today, Zabazu realized that if we go to bed on time, and wake up on time, we'll never be late, and we'll never miss anything important. <gasps> who, who turned on the alarms? And why won't they stop ringing? I turn them on to make sure you don't oversleep. Thank you, honey, but this isn't a work day. It's the weekend. Oopsie. <laughs> Scene of Bravery. One ordinary morning at the preschool, Zabazu was playing with her friends when the teacher walked in with an announcement. Kids, today you're getting vaccinated. Uh. <gasps> Ow. This is a vaccine against the ear, horn, and hoof infection. Please put your toys away and be ready. I'll be right back. <gasps> Don't cry. Don't cry. 
Someone told me that vaccines will make you swell up so much. Oh my, we are so wrong. This is so unpleasant. I don't want to be round. Our neighbor, Mrs. Barbara, said that the vaccines were created by super dangerous aliens. <gasps> this is how they plan to turn all the people of Earth into robots. Bobby, you are so square now. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Lisa, catch this. I saw this cartoon recently where a doctor was giving shots with a huge syringe. It was like this big. <gasps> it... Right in your bum. <laughs> oh no, my bum. I don't want it. We, we need to hide, hide now. now. Kids, did you put your toys away? It's almost time for your vaccine. Where are you? Kids? Oh, I see. You're playing hide and seek. One, two, three, four. Ready or not? Please take your seats. We're calling you in one by one. I don't want to be a balloon. I don't want to be a robot. No syringes! Oh, please no, please no, please no! Tony? Oh, Tony. What is this? Ha! Huh, it's a metal. The very best one, real chocolate, for bravery. For bravery? Yeah, that's because I volunteered. I went first. And you didn't swell up? Nuh-uh. And you didn't turn into a robot? Nuh-uh. Was the syringe big? Did it hurt much? Nuh-uh, a tiny one. You won't even notice. She takes your hand and goes, that's it. So just like that? And it really doesn't hurt? Nuh uh Tony, do you think there are still any of those medals left? For bravery. They have one. Who's next for the vaccine? Me, me, me. That day, Zebas was stopped being afraid of vaccines. In the evening, she vaccinated all her toys against toy diseases. Alright, buddy, time for your shot against chicken fever. You're so brave. And it's all done. Here is your medal for bravery. Surprise egg. Today, Mommy's friend, Mrs. Jilly, came for a visit. Zabazoo, you've grown so much. Wow, a baby, and what a cutie pie. So get this, sugar. I was at this baby store today. They didn't have a single decent crib. Not one. Well, take the one that belonged to Zabazoo. She has grown out of it already. How about that? Well, thank you, sugar. That would be wonderful. And what if, what if while you go to the attic to get the crib, I watch the baby? May I? Pretty, pretty, please. Just make sure the baby doesn't wake up before it's time. Okay, so there's more. Get this. Coochie, coochie, coo. Who is the sweetest bundle here? Who is such a little baby? <gasps> Cereal Alexa, 
how can I put a baby to sleep? Not long ago, Daddy gave Zabuzu a super smart speaker that is always ready to give advice. Hmm, to make babies sleep, parents tell them fairy tales. Got it! Babies love fairy tales! In a deep, dark forest, there was a sweetie, pretty gingerbread house. And in that house lived an evil witch who loved to eat little babies. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Don't be afraid. I'll stop. <gasps> Siri Alexa, the fairy tale didn't help. What do I do? Hmm. If fairy tales don't work, give the baby a warm bath. What? The bath didn't help either. Well, in that case, maybe try singing a lullaby? My, oh my, you're my sweetheart. Baby's cradle's rocking hard. <gasps> Sir Alexa, the egg cracked. Is there something I can do? <laughs> Hmm. If eggs crack, break them into a container and put in a fridge. Put in a fridge. Put in a fridge. No, let me deal with it. Here we go. Just need some bandages. Nobody will notice. Okay, okay, be <gasps> careful. My, oh my, oh my sweetheart. Baby's cradle's oh, hard. That was quite a workout. The crib is so heavy. All are sleeping in the house, cat and dog and little mouse. Honey bunny, is everything all right? Shh. Everything is super fine. Egg is sleeping quietly. Thank you, dear. Job well done. Now let me hold my baby. Oh! <gasps> Mama! <gasps> We switch strollers at the store. In the evening, Zabazu told her daddy the story about this egg surprise. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's great news. Dilly found the mom of the baby ostrich, so everything is fine. Dad, mom, when I was in the egg, are you sure you didn't switch me with another one? <laughs> <laughs> Zabazoo, don't you know? Bunnies don't hatch from eggs. Neither do monkeys. Phew, that's a relief. That's real awesome. Means I'm truly yours. The Butterfly Meadow. One day, the teacher took the kids on a field trip. Today we go to the park to see butterflies. We are gonna see butterflies. Boom, chaka boom, chaka boom, boom, boom. Let's get going. On the way to the park, the kids met Mr. Raffi. He looks after things in the park. Hmm. Good morning, Mr. Raffi. We are going to see butterflies. Oh. Hmm. If I were a butterfly, I would go chasing after swallows, and my name would be Swallowtail. And I would change my wings' color every day, and they would call me a painted lady. And I would fly from flower to flower, collecting nectar to treat you all. Yummy! Hey, hurry up! There's shelter over there! Oh, no! Now we'll have to come back another time. And I won't get to see the butterflies. Let's get closer! Don't give up so soon! Come on! Puddles will not stop us! 
us. Hey! It's so deep. Looks like Ella will not see the butterflies today. Yes, she will. We'll carry her over. But we don't have a stretcher. We have hands instead. Give me your hand now. All together. Very good. Phew, this job's not an easy one. All right now, we're safe from the rain. Let's rest up and have a snack. Here's a pie for you and one for you, for you and for you. Yum! These cabbage pies are delicious. Ella, you must be a cabbage butterfly? Yes, it's so fun. All right, children. Our time is up, unfortunately. We have to start heading back now. But the, but the butterflies. butterflies! We didn't get to see the wild butterflies. I'm sorry, but butterflies don't fly in the rain. Let's just wait a tiny, itty bitty bit longer. But it looks like, looks like this rain will never end. No, it surely will. It will go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. All the friends want to play. Rain, rain, go away. Sun, oh sun, please melt the clouds. From the gleaming skies, wake the pretty butterflies. This is amazing! The sun must have heard your song and scattered the clouds. Boom, chaka -choom, chaka -choom, chaka -choom, boom, 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 <laughs> And so, as soon as the rain is over, my umbrella is found. Thank you, Mr. Rafi. Thank you, Mr. Ruffy. <laughs> Look! Over there! Look! They're so beautiful! There are so many! Yes! It's so fun! The kids looked at the butterflies and thought that to get to see such beauty, they could do anything together. Even part the clouds! The birdhouse. One day, Zebazu was helping her mom in the garden when she heard the sweetest sounds. Mom, what's that sweet sound? It's the songbirds. They recently settled in our neighbor's backyard. Wow! I'd like some songbirds in our garden, too. My dear, if you'd like songbirds to settle in our garden, you will need to hang a birdhouse for them. Why don't you make one with your dad when he returns from his space flight? By the time dad comes back, all the birds will be gone. I'll make a house for the birds myself. Five little ducks went out one day. We will need to make an entrance here. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. For the birds, it will do. Now the birds will come. Did not like it? Okay, we'll make a stronger house. Really? Didn't like that one too? Either? 
What strange birds? Even their songs are weird. Well, that's it. We don't have anything else to make bird houses. Greetings, Earthlings. Daddy! I'm so glad you're back. Oh, dear. Is it raining? Or is someone going to cry? I wanted to make a birdhouse, but it turned out to be a crow's house. And I want songbirds to live in our garden. Would you live in such an ugly house yourself? I thought it would do for the birds. Oh, Zabbe Zoo. It will do, won't do for us. Let's go to my workshop and do it right. Zubazu's dad is jack of all trades because he's a genius astronaut. He knows how to do everything. Well, almost everything. It's just that whatever he takes on, he always ends up with a, a rocket. What a beautiful birdhouse you made. The birds were thrilled with the new house, and Zabuzu and her parents were delighted with the new, beautiful singing. I must make more birdhouses. 